Hello, I'm Gary Book, Assistant Vice President of Retail Credit Underwriting at Farm Credit Mid-America. And with me today is Ethan McNeely, a credit analyst in the Retail Credit Underwriting Department. Welcome to the second video of our Balance Sheets Basics series. In this video, we will break down the balance sheet and provide you with two key ratios we use at Farm Credit Mid-America to benchmark the financial health of an operation. In our previous video, we introduced you to the key components, common errors we see, and the importance of accurate information. For this video, we will introduce the two key capital ratios we utilize at Farm Credit Mid-America to determine the financial health of an operation. Additionally, we will discuss our benchmarks for producers. The benchmarks cover target ranges in high, moderate, and low risk categories. First, let's review total equity. Total equity is the accumulated wealth of an individual or operation. As a calculation, equity is the result of total assets less total liabilities. Equity is difficult to benchmark and is relative to the size of the operation. With that being said, we should see a natural occurring increase in equity year over year with the pay down of debt or retained earnings. The equity to asset ratio measures total equity compared to your total assets. This is commonly referred to as solvency. For a full-time grain farmer, a solvency above 55% is viewed as acceptable. These benchmarks vary depending on the operation. For example, a part-time farmer with 45% solvency would be adequate, and a farmer whose primary debt service payments service poultry or swine barns, 30% is an acceptable benchmark. Working capital is the difference between current assets and current liabilities. This difference highlights the short-term risk bearing ability of the operation. If this number is negative, then the operation could potentially have cash flow issues within the next 12 months and will need to rely heavily on borrowed funds for liquidity. An important note in today's environment is to be realistic in the value that we give our inventories to calculate working capital. Grain and storage and livestock do not have the same market value as it did a year ago. The amount of working capital needed varies from operation to operation. One way to benchmark your working capital is to compare it to your gross revenues. At Farm Credit Mid-America, we use working capital divided by value of farm production, or VFP, to determine a healthy amount of liquidity. A 20% ratio is deemed acceptable for a row crop operation. So if we have $100,000 in BFP, we should have at least $20,000 in working capital. Maintaining this benchmark in most cases alleviates cash flow and allows a farm to meet its debt obligations in a timely manner without interrupting day-to-day -day operations. Today we have reviewed how to calculate our equity position, equity to asset ratio, working capital, and working capital to value of farm production. We have also reviewed Farm Credit Mid-America's benchmarks for cash grain farmers for each of the ratios. Understanding these core capital ratios is important to becoming a better financial manager and making sure your operation is positioned for long-term success. In the upcoming videos, we will take a look at balance sheet trends and identifying strengths and weaknesses in your operation.